If you're going on a cruise and you're thinking of taking home some items from your cruise ship cabin, think again. While some items are complimentary or freebies and you are allowed to take them home, other items, well, you are not allowed to do so. And if you do bring them home accidentally, you may incur an extra charge. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, there are some things that you are actually allowed to take home from your cruise ship cabin. And you might be thinking, why would I even want to take home some of those items? Well, a lot of people say that they do like to bring home a few things, some out of practicality, others because it does actually bring some of the memories of cruising back home with them. Now, of course, I do want this video to be useful, so I am gonna share some of the things that you absolutely cannot take home from your cruise ship cabin. Some of these may not be obvious, and doing so will actually likely incur an extra charge once you get home. Now, in case I was missing any, I did ask in the LifeWall Cruise community, what are the things that you have taken home from your cruise ship cabin? And I actually got a couple of answers that I forgot about. So these are really good. And I also did get a few answers where people did share that things had accidentally fallen into their luggage. Now, I am not the cruise ship police. So I'm gonna share these with you as well. And I am gonna share one item that I did bring home from a cruise cabin on a recent cruise. And truthfully, I'm not sure I was allowed, but I had a practical reason you will let me know. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention two things. Firstly, please don't take this video too seriously. It is on a cruise YouTube channel, and I'm definitely not advocating that anybody should steal items from cruise lines. And secondly, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. All right, let's start off first with items that people really like to take home from their cruise ship cabin and things that you can. Number one, we have slippers. Now, in some cases, you're going to get slippers with your cruise ship cabin. It could be because you're in a suite, it could be because of a loyalty level, or it could be because you requested them. So if you do have any slippers in your cruise ship cabin, whether you have worn them or not, these are yours to keep and to take home. Number two, mini toiletry bottles and bar soaps. Now these days we don't see that as much on cruise ships, but some do still have this. So you can definitely bring these items home just like you might at a hotel. Some people say that they absolutely love the lotions on cruise ships. And by the way, if these are not in your cabin, they are available sometimes by request from your cruise cabin steward. Number three, cruise line branded stationery and pens. Now, a lot of cruisers say that they don't see this as much on cruises as they did before, but I still see it depending on the cruise line. Now you are allowed to bring these items home. After all, it is branded and it does become a form of advertising for the cruise lines. And a lot of cruisers do say that they loved to have a carnival or a celebrity or a princess pen in their handbag or in their office at work. It did remind them of cruising once they got home. The chocolates that are left on the pillows at night. So many cruisers, me included, collect these and then take them home. I like to leave them on my coffee table in my living room for a few weeks after my cruise. It is a nice reminder and when guests do come over, they're able to have these chocolates. Please let me know, am I the only one that does this? Please let me know down in the comments below. Wine, champagne, and any mini alcohol bottles. Now these are items, if you do have them in your cabin, either that you've been given it perhaps as a gift from a travel agent or maybe from the cruise line, or maybe you have mini alcohol bottles because you do have a mini bar setup that comes with your loyalty status. Any of those items that are left over at the end of the cruise, they are yours to keep. Complimentary tote bags. Now, depending on the cruise line, you might have complimentary tote bags in your room. So this was from Holland America. I thought it was a really nice tote bag. And I've also had tote bags before on Princess and on Celebrity. Now I have heard that Princess's tote bags, while they went away, those blue bags, that they are now back and that they are better than ever. So please let me know if you've had one already on Princess. But honestly, you can take these tote bags home. Not only are they great for when you're going on shore excursions or to use at the pool, but when you get home, they can be practical as well. Now this one might surprise you, but a lot of people said 
they bring these home and these are the daily cruise planners and i have one from celebrity but i also have one from carnival now i bring them home because i blog and i do share a lot of the information later it is handy for me to go back to that but even before that i admit i did save the daily planners now please let me know if you do that there are many cruisers who say that they do still bring these home for the memories a corkscrew now a corkscrew is both a yes and the no because it does depend on the cruise line and it does depend on the corkscrew so later i'll share with you the corkscrew that you are never allowed to bring home there is a charge and even a price tag on it but if you do get a corkscrew from your room steward or if you get a corkscrew from one of the bartenders that is complimentary usually those are pretty small if you do get one of those that are branded by the cruise line you can keep that and take it home jewel holders or charm bracelets now some cruise lines will leave you these jewel holders or other items that are similar to this in your cruise cabin and the idea of it is you're supposed to be able to go to if i'm not mistaken it's effie and you can collect some of the items the jewels that can go inside of this you can see that i didn't actually do this but i did bring it home many people said that they love doing this maybe on my next celebrity cruise i will do it please let me know if you've ever done this before now i have one more then i will share with you the things that you cannot take home from a cruise ship cabin including the one item that I did take that I'm truthfully not sure I was allowed to. So what you can take home from your cruise ship cabin, and many people said that this is the most important thing that they brought home, and it is memories and photos taken on the balcony. Now these take up absolutely no room in your luggage, and this is something that we can all bring home from our cruises. Okay, for real now, these are the items that you cannot take home from your cruise ship cabin, and truthfully, there are people that report that they have been charged. Number one, it's the robes that are in the cabins. Now you can request a robe in your cabin on many cruise lines, or you may get them automatically based on your loyalty status, or if you have a certain type of cabin. Well, these are never allowed to be brought home from your cruise ship cabin. I know I have been tempted before, but I've left them in the cabin. Now, some people say that what they have done though, is they've loved them so much that they've actually purchased them from the cruise line and they've even gotten them monogrammed. Number two, towels. Now towels is an absolute no-no. And as a matter of fact, on some cruise lines, they actually do have a sign in and sign out system when it comes to the towels that are next to the pool and when it comes to the towels that you can use for shore excursions. And if you don't return these for each towel, there is a $25 charge. Number three, this goes without saying, but it's bedding, pillows, and linen. Number four, the corkscrew on Virgin Voyages. Now it could be on other cruise lines, but I've seen this particularly on Virgin Voyages. They do have a very unique corkscrew. Apparently I had to Google this, but it is called a sextant. In any case, they have a price tag on their corkscrew that is in cabin and I believe it's 25 or 27 dollars and it does actually say on it that if you'd like to take this home as a gift to yourself that a charge will automatically appear on your credit card. Now while you can take home wine and champagne that is in your cabin what you can't take home is any of the glasses, ice buckets, and water pitchers. The binoculars. Now if you are on an Alaskan cruise you may have binoculars in your cabin and you are not allowed to take these home. Speaking of Alaska, another item that you are not allowed to take home, it is just for your use while you're in the cabin, but it is those nice, warm, cozy outdoor blankets. And likewise, if you're on a carnival cruise, you cannot take home their famous blue blanket. Any electronic items like an iPad, if it is in your cabin, and something that people said they would have loved to take home from their cruise ship cabin, but they are strictly not allowed to, is the cabin steward. So yes, they said, oh my goodness, how I would have loved to take home my cabin steward. But of course, this is strictly not allowed on a cruise ship. Okay, so are there times that people do take home things that they're not allowed to from a cruise ship cabin? Of course, the answer is yes. And I do know I had read a study at one point about hotels and apparently there is a fair amount of loss from items that are taken from hotel rooms. So I imagine that it is probably similar on cruise ships. Now there are some things that people said did accidentally fall into their luggage. Now, one of the items that was most commonly mentioned for some reason was a washcloth. Yes, a solitary washcloth. They might've brought that with them on a shore excursion or for another reason and somehow that ended up coming home with them. 
TV remotes. Now, especially people with children said for some reason, this ended up in their kids' toys at some point. And a couple of people said they actually did call the cruise line to offer to send this back. And they were told, consider it a birthday present. Or the do not disturb cruising, snoozing door hangers from Carnival. Silverware wrapped in a napkin. Now the person who did share this shared that this was genuinely not something that they had intended to do, but they did leave the buffet with a napkin and some silverware that was inside it, put it in their tote bag, and then they realized once they were at the airport that it was still there. Cruise Line branded mugs from the buffet. Now these are available in case you don't know in the Cruise Line shop as a matter of fact. I do have, these are thermal mugs that I did buy on Holland America, but I bought a mug in the past from Princess. So if you do want to bring home the memories, this is probably a better way. Now I will share with you the item that I did bring home. I truthfully wasn't sure if I was allowed, but I think maybe I was. So let me know down in the comments below. This is sort of disputed. Some people think you are, some people think you're not, but it is a cruise line umbrella. This was in my cabin on my celebrity cruise and truthfully, it was raining cats and dogs the day that we were disembarking from our cruise ship and we had to walk over to the parking garage that was well a few minutes walk so i did bring the umbrella from the cruise cabin i think that i'm allowed to bring it there wasn't a sign but please let me know if you know yes or no down in the comments below a closet hanger now the thing with the closet hangers on cruise ships is most of the time the way that they are made they're not actually going to work at home and that is something that somebody did say he realized he brought his suit home on a hanger and what he did is he actually brought the hanger back on another cruise shampoo conditioner or lotion from those larger dispensers in the bathroom now, I didn't realize that people actually did this, but some people said that they do fill up little mini bottles because they like it so much and want to bring it home. A door stopper, apparently that fell into a shoe and a towel animal. I have to admit, I do wonder how many people have brought home one of those on occasion. Now, there may be some things that I'm missing that either you can or cannot bring home from a cruise ship cabin. So please let me know down in the comments below and let me know as well if you've ever accidentally brought anything home from a cruise ship cabin, please let me know what that was in the comments below. And let me know as well if you've ever been charged for any items once you got back home as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.